This Holy Body and Blood Sunday looks really different during a global pandemic that limits so many people's ability to receive Eucharist. Like many of us, Holy Week and Easter Sunday came and went without being able to take part in the core liturgical act, receiving the body and blood of Christ. How do we even talk about what it means when Christ says, I am the living bread of life? The first reading tells us that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. I tried to take some comfort in it, but I just kept thinking it's not the same. At the end of the day, the Eucharist begins and ends in a relationship. That's where it all comes from and where it all returns to. It may be helpful to really engage in this week's gospel. If we have a sense of what is happening behind the scenes, just before Jesus begins to explain to us what it means to be the living bread of life come down from heaven. At the beginning of this chapter, he actually just fed 5,000 people. After this miracle, he heads off to pray, and when he returns, the crowd specifically tries to ask him where he's been and what's going on. Christ repeatedly says, I am the bread of life. I am the living bread. The one who comes to me shall not hunger. It is Christ's attempt to get the people to understand that it is in relationship with Christ that people needed to be fed. That is at the root of the Eucharist. It is a reminder for us where the Eucharist comes from. It is in this relationship that our eyes are open. That is the power of the Eucharist. It's Christ reminding us over and over again, I am the living bread, come to me. We become aware of who we really are as members of his one body. It goes beyond than just remembering. Relationships are about more than just what we receive. The first letter of Corinthians reminds us that the Eucharist is not a spectator sport. We participate in the blood of Christ when we drink from the cup. Living into a Eucharistic reality means participating in it, saying yes to that relationship again and again. Being in relationship with Christ means we are open to our oneness with all of humanity, to pain and suffering, to the cry of the poor, the migrant, the immigrant, women, children, people of color, the sick and elderly, the imprisoned. In this relationship, our eyes are open. We recognize the risen Christ, but this Christ does not stay. He vanishes from our sight, leaving us with the burning desire in our hearts to be Christ in a world that is crying out for healing.
Christ in me, arise and dispel all the darkness. Christ in me, arise with your power and your strength. Christ in me, pour out your blessing and healing. Christ in me, arise and I shall. Christ in me.